Joining me now, West Bloomfield Township Clerk Debbie Binder and Treasurer Terry Weingarten. As we celebrate our business community today, let's start with you, Terry. How important is that connection between our local business community and our local municipal government? Well, they're a fabric of the community, right? Um, we're always called, you know, a neighborhood or like a, a home-based community. But really, the businesses we have are very integral to our community. They're very much interacting with our residents, and the type of um, businesses we have are those to really service a more neighborhood-based community. I mean, we're not like a big city, but we have a lot of really wonderful options for our residents to utilize. And actually, the center itself, the Connect, is so wonderful for our seniors and anyone. It's a great space. And Debbie, that connects back to the resources that are provided not only by the Chamber, but by West Bloomfield Parks as well, providing those connections in so many different areas. Because like Terry said, not only is this a bedroom community, it's, it's, it's also a community that has a, a large senior population and a lot of families too. So how do all these connections kind of come together, including West Bloomfield Township, to provide these resources and these activities to our residents? I'm going to remind everybody of Pastor Jack's favorite word, community. And that's exactly what makes West Bloomfield unique. We are a community. And to, for a community to function in its you know, maximum capacity, everyone does have to work together. The chamber is part of what draws people to, you know, businesses to the community. Our parks programming is undeniably, along with our library, what brings residents to choose West Bloomfield and our public safety. And we like to think it's the board, but really it's more the other, the other programs. But those are all the things that bring people to West Bloomfield. So it's important for us to support those organizations and it's important for those organizations to work together because we love our seniors. We also need to bring in younger families because we want sustainability for West Bloomfield. I've lived in the township 50 out of 57 years and it, it, it's a great place to call home and all of these organizations help other people understand why it's a great place to call home. So it's important for us to support them and it's important for them to be here. Suzanne does an amazing job with the chamber and keeping our businesses engaged and helping each other. Parks brings the community together and every, I mean, I think it's, it, the, the word connect really fits. It's a perfect word. They connect the community, they bring, they, they provide space. We now have this great space to have meetings in. So I think, again, the community works together and in the spirit of Pastor Jack, that's the most important thing. Yeah, we're doing great things here today with our business community, introducing new businesses, introducing people to these businesses and to our leadership because it not only goes from the top down, from the government out to the community or from these organizations to the community, that leadership element plays in even with our business community and these other resources too. Yeah, it's really important because we want to have our continued vision of how West Bloomfield is a place to live, work and play. And like Debbie was saying, I mean, once you move to West Bloomfield, you really don't want to move away. I've lived here since I'm five, and so Debbie's basically lived here her whole life, so we're lifers. And we understand all the exciting things that go on here, from all the beautiful nature elements that most places don't have, all the woodlands, wetlands, you know, including the lakes and the trails and all that. And then things like this, and the colder weather, where you can go inside and still meet your neighbor and find out about businesses in your community. And we really have everything. And the few things we don't have are coming. I just heard we're going to get a bubble tea place, which I've only been wanting for five years. So, we, you know, we're always kind of trying to grab the few things that we don't have available so that people can really stay within West Bloomfield and they can work out in their community and they can go get a smoothie in their community and they can grab a lunch in their community and you know, they can buy their jewelry in their community and all those good things. All good things and, and so much more coming to our community in the near future. Terry, Debbie, thank you both so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Tyler. So Go, much, Lions. Tyler. Go, Go Lions. Go Lions. Yes, in, indeed.